Hey, so how are you guys all doing today? So my mom and I, we went to go look for furniture. We went, you know, in Hawaii, we don't have too many places to choose from. So we went to the, um, the place on Baritania where they have um, like Home World, CS Wu, and things like that all set up together. And so we went over there to see um, if they, what, what kind of options I had over there. <laughs> oh, he did it. It was just too tall. I like this except for the split. What is that? It's a table I've been looking at online, but it's really pretty, but I really wish... I do like this one. What is it? I will say what's really really hard in Hawaii is we don't have too much to choose from um, you know we have a lot of shipping issues right now so a lot of furniture they don't come for like six months from my understanding especially the ones that you like and I noticed now to when I looked around at the uh, furniture store a lot of the furniture they're like veneer so the woods veneer the inside's not really solid wood so when you touch it or you whack it, you know, like knock on it, it sounds kind of hollow. So I was a little bit bummed about that. In my mind, I guess I thought I wanted something solid. Um, so I was just kind of disappointed because, you know, you kind of have it set up in your brain that there's a certain thing you want. Well, that's what I did. And so ah, that already set me up for um, not being happy. So oh one thing i did like the also the hard part also another hard thing is the stuff that i did like is the stuff that i couldn't afford or i guess i could afford but i don't want to spend like six seven grand on a dining table it was on the cs Wu side um, they had nice stuff so i figured well you know right now with the covid it's really hard to find something that i like so i wonder if i can make something so you know me plus it'll keep me out of boredom get me away from the uh, computer because those of you um, wondering I haven't been loading too much videos because I've been um, social media distancing yeah sort of things um, I'm not on uh, Instagram or Twitter or anything like that 
I do have an account on Facebook, but I never look at it. I do intend to delete it once my father passes on. But I'm really not into that kind of stuff. Thing that I have this thing that I noticed that I get like social anxiety. Yeah, I get like anxiety. Um, I get really sad or, or things like that. I get really bummed. Like on Facebook a long time ago, I remember I wrote something. I posted a video um, going to the store with my brother and the com it's scanned everything and you know you can pay for it all by machine and one of my friends made a comment and um the comment felt negative and i got really sad and i didn't mean to offend anyone or make anyone feel bad um with the video it was just a video of the machine but i thought the person's comment just i don't know I, it just wasn't but I just thought somebody would go, oh, like, wow, or something. I didn't think anyone would be like... I, I guess I didn't like that people were turning everything into... Well, there's a lot of good people making good, good positive comments, but there's that handful of people who just seem to always look on a dark side of everything. Well, that was starting to affect me, so I tend to shut up. And so, anyway, so you get the picture. But that... I'll have to work on another time but i'm slowly working on those things so right now i'm focusing on things that will make me happy and what makes me happy is making things um so um i made i decided that i was gonna make a table yep guys i decided to make a table uh in hawaii a lot of wood you know we're out of wood again shipping is a problem so um i decided that um you know pine pine is on the cheaper side but it's not that nice pine pine has all that naughty i don't like the 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 how i said the design of the pine the grain the i don't like it but you know for the price maybe i can cover it with some kind of a decent kind of stain so i thought i'd give it a try and i read with pine pine is a good one to start out so i'm going to do that mm -hmm. So pine. So I bought all the stuff and things like that and decided to work with it. Um, it wasn't so bad. You know, I, tr I put it together. I even glued the in-between. I screwed underneath and I sanded it. I puttied it, sanded it. I puttied, putty, putty, putty. I even mixed the glue with the shavings and used that as some putty to fill in the uh, area. Made sure I used sustainable filler and everything and it came out I still puttied it this putty seems dark but that's okay but i have to use screws because this wood is so weak so soft fine but it is too of course i can't sleep so at 11 15 at night i have to do a sample of the wood to see what it's gonna look like because I chose pine because it's affordable. It's my first time, in case I screw it up. Um, it was recommended that I use, like on the internet, you know, in a couple of videos I saw, these were the three different colors that I found that were kind of interesting. So I'm gonna see how it works. Okay, so this is what special walnut or something. Yeah. And weathered gray. And I saw this today at Walmart, so I think white. I just want to give it a try. They said because pine is like yellow or orange. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what it looks like. I think the white is pretty nice, but it does show too much of the pine, which I don't think is that pretty. So uh, I don't know about that. Um, so there's a little bit more coverage. I guess can't help. Could leave it on longer and see. And that's the gray. I think that's way too dark for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I didn't wipe it off fast enough. And that's actually not. Um, It does look kind of ready though. Hmm. It does look kind of ready. I wonder if I could put what the white on top of the brown. Let's try that since it's just a sample. Hmm. I'm gonna 
gonna stain them now. I think it's good enough. You know, it's not perfect. I kind of rounded the edge a little bit. So I'm gonna start staining the first coat of the table. Looks like this. This is the first coat. Yeah. We'll see how it looks if I have to add the gray. We'll see how it looks. Yep, so let's see. This is what it looks like. Wish me luck. Maybe the side's better. You can see without the glare. See? Okay. So it looks like that. Alrighty. I'm putting it on, brush on, and wipe off. Oh, and look, guys, I did pretty good on the legs. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. It's really hard. Some of them won't come off, but maybe it'll blend in. So, here it goes. Hello. Kirei house at the mo. Mado ga clean janai to ne. Ready. Come on, ready, ready, ready. Not bad, huh? It's a little bit tight. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't so bad. I had to make sure that I had enough to seat like eight people because of my kids and of course my mom and all of us to be able to sit in one place. So it's kind of nice. I just wanted a place where we all could sit down and eat. At least till I find something I really want. Well, and then if that, if that happens, we'll put this one outside. But it was really good. I spent less than $300 for everything. Yep, less than $300 for everything. So um, now, um, since I'm finished with that, my next project will be probably a workbench for the garage. Yeah, so I'm going to make a workbench to put some tools and organize the garage mm -hmm, a little bit. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, making of my dining table and my benches. Not so bad. I know it's not like the fanciest thing in the world, but it works. And think about it, I spent less than $500. Yeah, I know some of you are going, oh, I can't believe it. But for Hawaii, that's pretty good. Less than 500. And it's solid. It's going to hold like six people comfortably. And I'll maybe put two chairs at the end. It's solid, solid, solid like a rock would. And it won't move around. So it works really, really great. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later. And don't forget to give us uh, a like. Okay, Go like our video. And for those of you who haven't, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later.